Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do a Snapchat version of this video because my phone's being stupid. So today on my channel, I'm gonna be doing a favorites and disappointments of 2016 and 2017 because some of the stuff I recently got. You guys know the drill. If you like what I'm putting out and you wanna see future videos, like, comment, and subscribe. I love all the support that you guys give me on a daily and it's so amazing, so. First and foremost, I love this filter, but we're gonna go in with the uh, Jeffree Star Skin Frost, it's amazing. It's super pigmented, like I love it. I got the shade um, King Frost and I love it. everything about it, it's just amazing. I'm absolutely in love with it, and now we're gonna get into the next product, which is this Mega Glow Highlight by Wet n Wild. This highlighter is so affordable, it glides onto the skin amazingly, and I'm in love with it. I got it on another website a couple days ago, it's amazing. I'm pretty sure they still have it in stock, so I'll link that website below to where you can go find that. Next is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. My friend put me onto this. Um, it's amazing, I love it. It's very lightweight on the skin. It's very like medium coverage, but it gets you there, you know, and it cuts you out. <laughs> Cut it. My next favorite is the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now I'm a little bit iffy because it's very powdery and it's not that pigmented to me, but if you like it, go ahead. My next favorite is the <laughs> NYX Wonder Stick and I find it super amazing. The NYX Wonder Stick is pretty affordable. Um, it sculpts your cheekbones and everything else that you want to contour your nose and it's really amazing. My next favorites are these two masks from Shop Miss A and they're really nice. Really good on the skin, really hydrate. Everything on Shop Miss A is a dollar, so I'm gonna go link that below. And you guys go check that out and go shop. You know, have a little bin shot. Look at it. I'm gonna talk about these three things right now because they're all about the same company. Elf is doing a thing, and you can't see the third one. The baked highlight, the setting spray, and the face primer <laughs> work. I don't think I talked about the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. My color is 320 and it's really nice if it's like a lightweight foundation. It's very medium to light coverage if you build it up. And the fact that it's buildable is actually pretty good. Now we're going to discuss the disappointments because these products just didn't cut it for me this year. Number one on my don'ts list is this foundation by Sassy Plus Chick. And it's, it's so disgusting. It feels disgusting on my skin. I'm not trying to bash this. It's just, I don't, it don't work for me. I feel like. Next, um, don't, is the LA Girl Pro Powder. High definition sun powder. I don't like it at all. It's, no. I love their concealer. I really do. But this powder gotta go. Next, don't, um, and disappointment to me is this face contour palette. I've been using this for a while because I had nothing else. I just really, I don't really like it, and I don't like, it's just, the colors don't work for me, you know, I end up being two-toned, orange, something like that. And I really didn't have a lot of disappointments, um, because I've had a lot of favorites, and a lot of things are working for me, so. If these products work for you, that's great, I'm just saying that some of these products don't work for me personally, and that's my own opinion, but I'm not bashing any of these products. Please guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, if you like this video, if this stuff works for you, once again. That's okay. It just didn't work. from the favorites pile. I recommend those products because they really are nice. If you want to glow, if you want that face carved out for the gods, go. Honestly, for me and whoever else want to be a makeup artist in the future, you gotta ju not just think about yourself, but think about how things will look on other people. Because if you want to do this as a living, you have to learn how to deal with every type of skin tone, dark to light. You know, skin tones you never heard of. You have to deal with. Certain products might look good on one skin tone and not look good on the other darker skin tones light dark whatever you just gotta find what's good for everybody and this is a message for everyone whether you're a male female trans whatever you like doing makeup you do makeup okay. see i make videos like this because i want to and it doesn't matter to me what my family says because i know who i am and i know what i stand by don't let what people say affect you and bring you down even if it's your family because you know who you are and if you don't you're finding yourself that's not if you're a boy that wants to be a female do that if you're a boy that wants to do makeup do that if you're a girl that wants to be a guy do that it's you because you are beautiful and you are everything to yourself don't forget how good you are and what's your self-worth if people don't support you just know that you should support yourself 
because you are what you need, okay? Don't let anybody say anything to you. On that note, guys, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for the love and support once again. Heed that message, please. Never stop loving yourselves, and I'll see you next time on my channel.